Yo, what's up, Nostalgic Adventures? I'm gonna explore today. Typical uh, BC weather, raining. I'll show you guys. That's where we headed up into the boons. So yeah, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in a bit once we get settled in and find a spot. Woo! What a steep ride! Right at the entrance. I remember coming back here like, no, the first time we came here. This is our second time. Mm -hmm. We came here, what, a year ago? Yeah, about a year ago, yeah. God, that's this cool spot where uh, paragliders, parachuters, whatever you call it. <laughs> uh, there's a landing or a takeoff um, area up here that you guys will see. We'll go check it out real quick. Yeah. Woo! Still steep! Camera just won't do the justice, but damn. Yep, like we said, typical uh, BC weather. It's raining. Oh, no. uh, look, it's sunny. What the? What in the what? What in the what? That's the uh, city of Chilliwack, Harrison, Agassiz. I think I, I think it's more Agassiz though. Sorry guys, we're from BC, but <laughs> we generally don't come out this far here. We made it on top of this secret little spot. No, we the tried paragliding, enough. um, <laughs> para paragliding Landing takeoff. Strip, takeoff, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, That's windy up here. Yeah, you're through the microphone. Yeah. But you know, Woo! treat it with respect. Well, look at this view. Yeah, beautiful.
Huh. Exploring around, we found this uh, lake. It's called Stacy Lake. It's frozen. What do you guys think? Should I go try and walk on it? <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You might see me doing some weird shit over there. So yeah, like I said, we found this lake. We are gonna go check it out. Bunch of rocks over here. Woo. Campfire. Somebody had a campfire over here. Kinda cool spot though if you want a ground tent. A little hike to get down here. Well, as we both know that Jessica is notorious for falling sometimes into Waterfall or ice, <laughs> literally almost just fell. So, yeah. Oh, it's not okay. I won't do any stupid shit and walk on this because <laughs> completely, it's not completely frozen. But as you can see. cool yeah we're getting a little snow up here Spot better be worth it, guys. Look at what we're going through. <laughs> Just to get some good camping spots. So, um, yeah, as you heard, all that branches and whatnot, thinking that this road would end up in a really cool place, but I don't know. I don't think so. I don't even know what's down there. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, no way we're driving this thing. No way. Yeah, it's literally a freaking riverbed. So, yep, we are gonna turn around <laughs> and head back up, get some free car wash. Not happening.
we found this killer spot. Um, we're just gonna back it in and start a fire set up. I'll show you guys. We ran into a bit of a hiccup. I'll let um, Wesley explain to you. Look what happened, guys. Yo, our bolt for this tent like came off. Now it's like just in the air. Yeah, so like. Not, can't lock it. Can't find a bolt. <laughs> I don't know where it might have gone. <laughs> it's, yep. <laughs> can't really see in there. That's the thing. But yeah. But killer view. <laughs> uh, good times. Hopefully it's not expensive. It's a what? There's a nun in one of those. <laughs> That's why we should always have this because it might come loose. But that one always drops off over there. Oh. It, you know, the thing always comes out, right? I always wondered what those were for. Yeah, it's for this thing. <laughs> oh no. I wow. learned something today. Definitely learned something about uh, nuts and stuff bolts. or... Nuts and bolts. <laughs> for this guy. <laughs> Hopefully it's not expensive. <laughs> no, it's not expensive. It's not? Okay. Oh yeah, it's just... It's just nuts and bolts. Or just bolts. I don't know. It's just nuts and bolts? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Because one of those. So when we go in, tonight, we gotta be here. careful not to. Like, I'll let you go in first. <laughs> not to what? <laughs> get the other one broken too, because if you lose both, <laughs> our tank is literally going to fly off. I mean. What could we do that would make it do that? Seriously. Just the uh, vibrations that fall from the off road. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? <laughs> See, the side came off. No wonder why we lost it. Like... <laughs> so, we, gotta... so we need MacGyver to yeah, keep it. Yeah, we need MacGyver like this. More straighter up, sturdier. <laughs> because, get this, we don't want to lose another. Yeah, so we don't want to stress these bolts enough because it's going to go nuts <laughs> and lose one. <laughs> Look how high this ladder is. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this anyways, you know that, right? Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. I learned something. About it. This is like, this is high. I'm like five foot nine. When you're drunk. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I was, it's exactly what I was cliff. thinking. <laughs> off to the cliff you go. <laughs> At least there's a beautiful lake over there, so I'm like, Yes, just avoid that way because it's very steep. Yo, what's up, guys? We said last time we're going to show you guys how you make the uh, chicken and potato barbecue cook on a Dutch oven um, I'll show you guys the ingredients right now you need at least four to five small potatoes one red onion uh, chicken breast three to four and bacon um, and also your favorite barbecue sauce we chose bullseye uh, you need at least you need some butter maybe like a what did this say? One pound? It's kind of a lot. I don't one know, maybe pound. like... Yeah. One tablespoon. <laughs> one tablespoon. You need one tablespoon. <laughs> Potato, red onion. <laughs> and chicken. 
put them all on that. Alright guys, we just got done cooking. Here's the finished product. Ooh. Yo, what is up everyone? Woke up to this snowfall here. We are pretty high up on the elevation, so I wouldn't doubt that there would be no snow. <laughs> Nothing too crazy though. You can see West Harrison right over there. It's cloudy as ever. River. Pretty cool view. If it was nice and sunny. As you guys can see, them snowfalls. And they're quite thick. Well, guys, we found the lake that we were looking for. It is called the Campbell Lake frozen just like any other lake that we saw today but you cannot walk on it as you can see <laughs> it's a bit melted already cool lake check it out in the summer guys um, wrapping up our day really good trip one of the best <laughs> yeah every trip is the best some different for sure uh, overlooked lake with some mountains got a bipolar weather last night rain hail sun. snow sun wind everything sun with some snow <laughs> yeah other than that um, trip was amazing definitely would come back here during the summertime uh, it was a little chilly but we got the fire going it was not that bad see you next time see you guys next time <laughs>